of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. <laughs> I seek to destroy the irrational power structure that shackles Fodland. If the kingdom is ever to part oh ways my with our God. past, this is the path we must walk. So this is like uh, Hyrule Warriors or whatever, Real but for its fire emblem. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? Wait, we're busy this we day? Shall fight. We're busy? We shall survive, and we shall win a glorious future Chat can have this one? Right now that okay, I know, I'll tell him right now. I'll tell him right now. Make the same mistake again. Guys. Guys. Revenge All is yours. Thing you take for someone else. You seek revenge to slake your rage and heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. June twenty fourth. I mean, yeah, it's cool. It's on the switch. Whoa! Oh shit! Yo, if this is fucking Mario football, I'd play it. Oh! Oh, shit! Dude. Mario Strikers oh, Battle League. Oh, fuck. Prepare for Strike. Oh. A 5 on 5 sport like soccer that's way heavy on oh offense. Oh, my God. Aim for goals by dribbling and passing to teammates, as well as by using tackles. Nice. Items. Pre ordered. And crushing special shots. Yeah. Fucking pre ordered. The main rule in this sport is to rule the field. Try to score more goals than your opponents. There are two things to keep in mind that'll help you with your strategies. If this is First, online, the yes. Gear you equip. It changes not only your appearance, but also your stats like speed, strength, and pass accuracy. Damn. Customize as you see fit. Second, the hyper strike. To activate this shot, grab an orb when it appears on the field and charge it while your opponents are distracted. Oh, shit. Hit the net and you'll score not one, but two goals. Damn. Yeah, this is good. That's going to be so good. Up to eight players, four players on each team can compete against each other on one Nintendo Switch system. Nintendo, on oh, nice. In addition to individual matches, Online play will have an online club mode. Nice. Join in game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Oh, Up to shit. 20 players can join a club. So create your own and invite friends and family to play alongside you. Or Wait. join an existing one owned by other players. Try to become the world's top club. Oh, shit. That's actually kind of cool. With items, tackles. And hyper strikes. Anything goes on Fucking this Bowser field. Main. Mario Strikers June 10th. Battle League launches on Nintendo Switch. June 10th. Yes. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I'll be there day one. I'm going pro. The latest iteration of the I already Mario went pro in Mario Golf. Is coming I mean Nintendo Mario Switch. Tennis. We hope you're excited for this anything goes battle soccer game. Mario Next, Golf suck balls. Look at this. Mario Tennis was good. I hope Mario Tennis is, or Mario Strikers is like Mario Tennis. Oh my God, Metal Gear Solid. Fuck! 
Splatoon 4! Oh my god, man. No, this is fucking PvE DLC. Yo, go back to Mario Strikers. Is Platoon still extremely popular in Japan? Must be. This is like fucking SoundCloud music. What the fuck is this? Audio guy, what the fuck are you doing? This is fucking cursed. What the fuck? Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Fonzers at the ready. Yo, Mario Strikers, man, is so fucking hype. Oh, what is this? Oh my god, Titanfall 3. Never mind. A full remake of the first Front Mission game is storming onto Nintendo Switch. In this tactical RPG, you'll pilot weaponized machines oh. called Fonzers and lead your battalion to victory. Gain the upper hand in battle by aiming for enemy parts to destroy. Mix and match various weapons and parts to customize your Vanzer. Uncover the great storyline of this classic when Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. Anyone play Front Mission first? And in the future, the sequel, Front Mission 2 Remake, will also launch on Nintendo Switch. I'd, I've never heard of this. I've never seen this game. Get set for a high-octane Disney and Pixar combat racer. Oh, shit! What the fuck? From the creators of the Asphalt series comes rip-roaring racing action across oh. Disney and Pixar-inspired racetracks. Race oh. as a legendary roster of characters on high-speed circuits what? using each one's special abilities to battle for victory across what? the finish line. You just fucking throw Choose this Mickey out? Choose Mouse for symphonic speed, Sully for monstrous power, or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Each oh, racer also shit. possesses powerful ultimate skills, perfect for turning the tables at the last second. Yo, this Disney could be Speed good Storm shit. is a free-to-play game with new seasons free added play. regularly, bringing more exciting Disney and Pixar characters, circuits, carts, and more. What? Plus, enjoy cross-platform play as well as split-screen and online multiplayer modes. Online multiplayer. Disney Speed what Storm the fuck? races onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Oh shit, dude. Bro, that was like dive into that these was a classic huge franchises what? on Nintendo Switch. I mean, shit, they're smart shower heads now, so they probably could. I'm at, I actually think this game might be fucking sick. What the fuck? Those are cute. <laughs> what the fuck? 
What? Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. This Kirby's honestly, Kirby looks like it's gonna be a fun-ass game. Deep platforming adventure, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It all takes place in a mysterious world with an unusual mix of nature and civilization. To rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, Kirby sets off on a new adventure. This looks like it could be like Mario Odyssey level of fun. Introducing mouthful mode. What the fuck? Inhale a car to zoom around. A vending machine to attack with juice cans. What the fuck? Or become a piercing cone. Wow. With mouthful mode, new actions will be available for Kirby depending on the object he inhales. That's actually kind of cool. Enjoy exploring with new moves different from copy abilities. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water like this. <laughs> As Kirby rescues Waddle Dee's, Waddle Dee Town will continue to grow and more resources will become available. At Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop, familiar copy abilities can be evolved. Evolve copy abilities to expand Kirby's range of attacks. Damn! They'll also change Kirby's appearance and make him even more powerful. <laughs> Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. Who are the beast pack? What are these enemies trying to do? Can Kirby restore peace to this world? Kirby and the Kirby. Forgotten Land launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 25th. March 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, I'm totally checking that game out. I hope, it looks like that it's gonna be a Kirby solid release. That was Kirby and the Forgotten Land, launching later next month. Please look forward to its release. Let's take Three a look games at some on the list. Nintendo Switch headlines. What the fuck? It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports series. Nintendo Switch Sports. Oh Please shit! Take a look. Oh shit! Here are the sports Globally. included in the Nintendo Switch Sports game. You might recognize these three from past Wii Sports games. Oh! Tennis. Rally by gently swinging the Joy-Con controller at the right time. Oh shit! Fuck no, Bowling. bro. There's gonna be Roll input the ball lag. Straight ahead, or give it a little curve. Motherfucker, this and better. Tempera. Knock your opponent off the platform while attacking and defending. Oh, that's actually kind of awesome. Plus, three additional sports are joining the lineup. Soccer. Th Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. Enjoy matches with Joy-Con controllers to shoot and perform diving headers. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. By attaching a Joy-Con controller to the leg strap accessory included with the physical version of the game, what you the can play fuck? shootout mode with intuitive kicking motion. I'm gonna fucking kick my desk. Badminton. Control your shots left and right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Oh, Unleash shit. powerful smash shots to gain the upper hand. Finally, volleyball. Use a Joy-Con controller to serve, bump, Nintendo. Set and spike the ball. Your net code needs to be absolutely fucking amazing. I don't need some fucking EU guy shitting on me. The play with family and friends on one Nintendo Switch system, as well as online play across all sports. The, it's cool in concept, but we play know what your net code online. consists of. Or opt for random matchmaking. The more you win, the tougher the players you'll face. Try taking on this challenge. How was that? Since I'm already here, I'd like to show you some gameplay of the newly added sports, volleyball. Mr. Takahashi! Oh, hello there, everyone. 
I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. Wow, Mr. Koizumi, I can see you're ready to play. All right, I'll play some volleyball online together with Mr. Koizumi. Do you have your wrist strap ready? Yes, of course. I've got plenty of space around me as well. All right, let's start. We'll be including some live commentary throughout our match. <clears throat> All right, oh, we're doing this? Uh, volleyball, a newly added sport in Nintendo Switch Sports. What can we expect today from the Takahashi Koizumi team? It's Koizumi to serve with Takahashi up front. <laughs> what the fuck? We begin with Koizumi serving. How will the opposing team react? Takahashi makes the block. Another one's coming. Koizumi saves it. A set up in the air, and here comes the spike. The other team saves it and fights back. Ah, and they score. Takahashi didn't quite get it in time. All right, well, it's okay, it's okay, the game's not over. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it, Takahashi sets it up, and Koizumi spikes, but it goes right toward the opponent. Here's another attack. I mean, this would be Not fun to play online for Get sure. The ball. And with the setup from Koizumi, Takahashi scores! They got a point with that fierce spike. Woo! Let's stop our match here. After all, we were in the middle of a presentation. All right, I'll be leaving now. I would, I would play that was an introduction uh, to Nintendo Switch Sports. I would play Nintendo Switch Sports. It reminds me of the, the Clubhouse game games. April 29th. You know? We're planning a free update in the summer that allows you to play soccer matches with a Joy-Con controller and the leg strap accessory. You can use the accessory to play shootout mode at launch. In addition, we're also planning a second free update this fall that lets you enjoy golf. Ah! I bet this is better than fucking Mario Golf. Mario Golf was a letdown. And now, a request to everyone. To help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, we'll be having an online playtest before the game launches to evaluate various technical aspects. You fucking better! We'd definitely like to ask for your help with this. Oh, shit. The online playtest will only be available for players with an active Nintendo Switch online membership on the dates shown on screen. When's the 18th? For those of you interested, please visit the official Nintendo website for We're more We're gonna be details. there. More Cuphead action awaits in the paid DLC, Cuphead, the delicious last course. Oh, Here, shit. Here, you'll explore a brand new Inkwell Isle, defeat a bevy of new bosses with wild personalities and even wilder attacks. The clever Miss Chalice is a new playable character. Take down fearsome foes with her double jumps, rolling dodges, and more. Cuphead, the delicious last course. Wait, so course, when is the DLC launching? To Nintendo Switch, June 30th. Oh shit, does that mean PC A June 30th? A free update is coming to the Metroid Dread game. All it takes is one hit. Even from this. Oh, fuck that, bro. Getting I would get my ass kicked. causes a game over in the brutal Dread mode difficulty. Fuck that, I'm Can good. Can you face this new challenge? And nah. for players new to the Metroid series, take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added Rookie mode difficulty. Ah, nice. This free update launches later today. If you suck balls, we have rookie mode. A second free update in April will add a boss rush mode, in which you'll battle bosses continuously, one at a time. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Metroid Dread was actually, like, fun. Something's bound for Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I don't know what the fifth game was. Maybe four games. What did you think? Here's some news for Mario Kart fans. Oh! Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game since its launch in 2017. Oh, shit! So, we've been working on remastering select courses from across the Mario Kart series, and we'll be releasing them as paid downloadable content. Oh. Please take a look at this trailer. Oh, shit. New Mario Kart maps? Fuck, I thought it was nine. Are you telling me we gotta go back? Okay, if there's seven maps, I'll go back. Paid DLC courses will be coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. 
This is like this one of the only the games. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Where the DLC is worth it. Some courses from past Mario Kart games. Eight courses will be released at a time over six waves. Oh, That's shit. 48 additional courses we plan on releasing by the end of 2023. What the fuck? Courses such as Coconut Mod. Holy shit. Chaco Mountain. And Tokyo Blur will be included in the first wave. What? Of course, you can play these courses locally and online. Looks like we're going back to Mario Kart. That's insane. This is the biggest the DLC. The first wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass will launch March 18. Pre-orders begin 18th. today on Nintendo eShop. What you the can enjoy fuck? this DLC at no additional cost with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. No, I think it was 25 bucks for 48 maps. How was that? I hope you're looking forward to the additional courses it's in not Mario per Kart wave. 8 Deluxe. No way. This next segment will be our last announcement. Oh my God. Please take a look. Oh my God. Star Fox. 64 or two. God damn it. Fighting in order to live. Look, and living to fight. Look, I used to really like anime, but there's just too much fucking anime That's shit. That's the way of our world. Ionios. Tell me. What would possess you to side with them? We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. I refuse to believe you're him. I knew it. I saw this coming. You aren't. You're not enemies now. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. You could try. Try to move forward again. How can our lives be so snapping little do you? They're not your friends anymore. They're his few. Sword match. The land pierced by a great sword. You know what? I can't save your land. It's I'm sorry. I'm you're booked. Gonna defeat the real enemy. I'm fucking booked. I'm sorry. There's we probably another enough. hero. I won't let you soldier it all alone. What good filling up these flickering crops in our eyes? It'll never replace the friends we've lost. The flame clock, it has to go. Uroboros abhor this world. They must be erased without a trace. Bruh. I'm good. All yours, chat. All yours. There's so many fucking weeb games, bro. The story of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 ties together the futures of the worlds depicted in Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and it will launch this September. I hope you'll look forward to it. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Says the guy playing Kirby and Mario? Fuck you, bitch. There hasn't been a Kirby game in fucking forever, so that's dumb. Mario Odyssey was actually like a good ass game. Like, there are so many fucking weeb games, it's not even funny. <clears throat>